this is Don from the Children's Museum, and welcome to my science basement. It's a science basement today, and I have set up on my science counter in my science basement uh, some science, believe it or not. What we're going to do today is make a very simple, basic type of plastic out of cornstarch and water. Those are going to be the two main ingredients, but there are a couple of other ingredients too. So I'm going to dig right in. You are going to need a microwave to do this, so I brought mine down from my kitchen. I didn't want to show you the kitchen because it's a big mess and there are a lot of loud dogs up there, so we're in the science basement instead. Other than that, you're going to need some vegetable oil. I've actually put mine in a little bowl right here. This is where I'm going to get my vegetable oil from because I'm going to need to do it with a pipette or an eyedropper if you don't have a pipette. You're going to need some cornstarch. You're going to need, of course, water, a microwave-safe bowl, a cookie cutter, a tablespoon, a regular metal spoon helps a little bit too, but it's not 100% necessary. And also, something that helps but isn't 100% necessary is going to be food coloring. Because we're going to make this plastic and we're going to cut it into shapes with this cookie cutter. And color's a little more fun than plain white cornstarch colored plastic. Okay, let's go to it. The first thing we're going to need is two tablespoons of cornstarch. Measure those out, put them right here in my microwave safe bowl. You may notice I'm doing all of this on a plastic cutting board. Just kind of keeps the cornstarch off of the tablecloth because cornstarch is made of really fine particles. It gets everywhere and then you have to clean the tablecloth. I guess I should probably do that anyway. But it kind of helps keep everything clean. If you don't have, you know, a cutting board, you could just do this on some paper towels or some wax paper, just something to protect the surface underneath. Cornstarch won't hurt it, but it will kind of get white powder all over the place. All right, I've got two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now I need three tablespoons of water. And now I'm going to mix. And if you have ever tried to mix cornstarch and water, say you made that perennial science at home favorite oobleck, you'll know that it kind of is tough at first because cornstarch and water don't actually like to mix. Cornstarch does not dissolve in water the way that sugar or salt does. If you have the correct proportions, about 50-50, one or the other, you can make that oobleck stuff, and that cornstarch will stay in what we call a suspension inside the water. Basically, the proportions are right, and the particles of cornstarch float in the water, and they're not going to settle out. Now this, we're going to stir this a lot, because the cornstarch might settle to the bottom if we don't keep it going. So I'm now going to take my pipette and add six little drops of oil to this. Now I'll explain in a moment the science behind what's going on here. Right now I'll say though, the oil doesn't actually affect the plastic, it just makes it a little easier to get it out of the bowl when we're done. Let's see, what color should I use for my first batch? Um, anybody have any opinions? Oh, I can't hear you, never mind. So I'm gonna do green. One drop of food coloring, if you want to color it, a little bit goes a long way with food coloring. Another reason you may want to have something protective underneath your bowl as you're mixing. And now I'm going to stir this up a lot, because oil and water also don't like to mix. Oil won't even form a suspension with water. So you just have to mix it until you get the oil as spread out as possible, and it's going to want to reconstitute itself to kind of glob together really quickly. So as soon as you're done mixing in ah, your food coloring and your oil, put it in the microwave, set the timer on your microwave for 45 seconds, and hit start. Okay, so what is happening in there right now is the microwave is heating up that mixture of cornstarch, water, oil, and a little bit of food coloring. Now cornstarch is something that's called a polymer. A polymer is a type of molecule, a tiny building block of matter, that's made of much smaller molecules all linked together. So you have these things called monomers, they chain together into a long chain, you get a 
polymer. If you've ever made slime, you've actually made a polymer. And there are naturally occurring polymers, of which cornstarch is one of them. But in a powdered form, those polymer chains are really short. We want them to be nice and long to make a biodegradable corn-based plastic. And heat, heat from the microwave all the time, allows those cornstarch polymer molecules to link up to form even longer chains. So we get a plastic. Now, right now, this is pretty hot. So I am going to set this aside for now. And I'm going to do this one more time because, you know, some folks might have tuned in a little late. They might have missed the very beginning. So let's see. I have another bowl around here somewhere. Ah, there we go. I'm going to use a paper towel here. Dry off my measuring spoon. And we're going to do this one more time. Two tablespoons cornstarch. Three tablespoons of water. Don't worry, we'll come back to the original one once it's done cooling. Two, three. Stir it up so we get nice cornstarch and water suspension so it's nice and smooth. You'll know you're at the right smoothness when it looks kind of like milk. And when you don't feel any more cornstarch stuck to the bottom of the bowl. That doesn't mean there's no cornstarch stuck to the bottom of the bowl. But you want to get it as smooth as possible. There we go. Get our vegetable oil back. Six little drops. Six. Do it over here. And let's see. I'm going to do purples. One drop purple food coloring and stir it up again. Oh yeah, that's gonna look real good. That green came out kind of pale neon green. We're gonna have good good purple on this one. Okay. Open up the science microwave. Pop it in. 45 seconds, and now let's go back to the original. All right, the bowl is warm, but it's not too hot to touch. Now it's time to take the plastic out of the bowl. I'm gonna try it like this first. I don't have any confidence that it's gonna work. Because usually when I do this, it's really sticky, which is why I have my spoon. Yeah, didn't even lose it. Now, if you have a regular spoon, you can go along the edges and try to loosen it up. And you may run into the problem that I'm running into right now, which is what often happens when you make these cornstarch plastic. It doesn't want to come out in one piece. If you can't get it all out in one piece, that's okay. Ooh, I actually did a fairly good job with this one right here. Oh, hold on, our other one's almost done. Purple one out. Set it over here. Okay, now I got it out in mostly one piece. But right now it's got a hole in the middle. It just kind of came together like that. Here's the cool part. Well, one of the cool parts. At this phase, when it's still warm, it's malleable. It's workable. You can squish it and mold it like clay. If you couldn't get it out in one piece, this really comes in handy. Now, because there's some oil in there, your hands are going to get a little bit greasy. That's okay. Just wash your hands, which you should be doing anyway. Okay, now i got to make this big enough for my cookie cutter. Almost there. Yes, I have a flower shade cookie cutter. It was one of the few I could find that was not holiday themed. I didn't want to make a Christmas, uh, some Christmas bioplastic right here in the middle of March. Now this next one, all right, pull it off a little bit. So we'll do the purple one too. One more time. And this time, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to scrape it out in a bunch of pieces. I'm not even going to try to get it out in one piece, just so I can show you. You don't have to. If you can't quite get it out in one piece, it's nothing to worry about. Now, 
This is a little bit warmer than the other one. I didn't give it quite as much time to cool. Ooh, it's sticky. So, oh, sticky and it's hot. You may want to have your adult do this. We're better at dealing with the minor pain of slightly hot things. Okay. It's like all over my hands. That's okay. Almost got it. There we go. Now these are going to take a little while to cool. They're still going to be kind of squishy and putty-like while they are cooling. And so I don't want to pick one up really and show it off to the camera because it might fall apart in this stage. Luckily, however, I made one earlier this morning using a different cookie cutter. And this one's nice and cool. And right here, basic floppy cornstarch plastic. Taking the cornstarch, which is a polymer, heating it up, hooking up the chains of polymers into much longer chains, becoming the type of polymer known as plastic. Now, most plastics that make up, oh, for example, this container, are originally made from petroleum, fossil fuels, and that can be really bad for the environment. There are scientists, however, working on new and better ways to make what we call bioplastics, plastics made out of plant material or living material or algae or something like that, and this is a very basic form of bioplastic. And believe it or not, there are some companies that make plastic products, like cups, Oh, my dog just went outside. I don't know if you can hear him, but I can. Anyway, plastic products like drinking cups, like disposable drinking cups, are a bioplastic. That's a lot better for the environment. Now, this is really basic 45-second cornstarch and water micro microwave plastic. You're never going to be able to turn it into a cup that you can drink from. And because it's so basic, it's not going to last forever. It's not super hard, but you can play with it for a little while. You can show it off, and when you're done with it, you can even compost it if you want. It's just cornstarch and water. It is completely 100% biodegradable. Now, uh, folks, we're, we're going to be doing these Facebook Lives from home, uh, you know, a couple of times a week while the museum is closed. And I'm going to be on every Tuesday. I do believe we have another one with Becky coming up this Friday. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. And uh, us folks here at the Children's Museum will do our best to answer them. Have an excellent Tuesday. Bye, everybody. Bye. I'm going to be awkward. I'm going to walk over here and turn off the camera because I'm my own cameraman. Here we go. Bye, everyone.